Hello, my beautiful friends. How's everybody doing today? So today I'm going to be sharing with you all the beauty products I simply can't live without. These are products I've either purchased by myself, received as a gift, or gotten through PR. So I'm super excited to share all those with you. A lot of these I have repurchased over and over again. So yeah, I, there's a lot to share with you. So let's just get started. So let's start with hair products. Um, a couple of these I've used over a decade. Now I know I've mentioned these in a previous video, but I have to mention them again, especially if you're new. Uh, but the first one here is Beyond the Zone. It's a smooth criminal. It's like a leave-in conditioner. I absolutely have to have this in my life because when I get out of the shower, my hair is just full of snarls. And honestly, I've tried other leave-in conditioners before and they just do not work on my hair like this one. It gives it, you know, like a nice softness to it but not too soft it's I don't know it just does something to my hair that nothing else has really done and I only can find it at Sally's um, I've looked other places and if I have found it it's just way too expensive Sally's um, just has the best price now the other thing that they do make the uh, um, beyond the zone is uh, it's also called smooth criminal now the only bad thing is this is becoming very hard to find um I've gone to many Sally's and they don't have it so I I'm just really afraid that this is going to be discontinued and I also went on their website and they don't have it. So what this is, is like a serum. It just really calms down my ends. Uh, my hair is super fri you know, frizzy, so it does tame that. And yeah, so like I said, I went to Sally's the other day. They had a great sale. So I get, actually got three of these because I took the three that were on their shelves and left them with nothing because I'm so afraid this is going to be discontinued and I would just be devastated because like I said I there was a period that I didn't use it and my hair just changed so those are the two that I just absolutely have to have in my life now a newer product that I've been using on my hair I would say that I have repurchased this this is probably the third bottle and it's by heritage and this is like an apple cider type solution um, you can make your own and I have in the past but this is just more convenient and easy and I find this at uh, Walmart so what this does is just kind of strip your hair of all you know the buildup that you get and you I can always tell when my hair needs it because it starts looking very flat up here or it will look start looking really frizzy or feeling super dry. So that's when I use this and I just place that basically on the roots and let it sit, you know, maybe five minutes, you know, while I'm shaving my legs or something. And then I rinse it off and just do my regular shampoo and conditioner. This is just really nice to have. And like I said, this is like the third bottle and I'm already at that level. So I do enjoy this and I have repurchased it several times. Now this next hair products is relatively new to me. Um, and it's dry shampoo and it's this one here and I don't know how to say it but you guys know this one <laughs> it's been around forever but the reason why I keep repurchasing this one it's because it's for dark hair so if I use just a regular uh, dry shampoo I put it in and it looks like I have gray hair it has like that white cast so I just can't stand it but I have to have something like a dry shampoo or something in my hair just to give it some grip because my hair does actually lay very flat because it just, you know, has no volume to it. So I have to use it daily, whether I wash my hair or not. Um, I've just been really loving this. I love this big bottle, so it's going to last me a little longer because I think the uh, size I got before was probably about that much. So when I saw this big bottle, I was like, I have to get it. It doesn't dry my hair out, you know, really bad like some other dry shampoos. So that's another reason why I, you know, been really enjoying it. But the main reason is because it's for dark hair. So I really appreciate that. And that's pretty much it for the hair. Uh, those products I absolutely have to have. Otherwise, my hair will not look the same. Uh, let's get into products I absolutely love for my body. Now, the first one here, I tried about a year back. And ever since then, I have just repurchased it over and over. Um, it's replaced my shaving cream. And it's this here by Tree Hut. It's their moisturizing uh, shaving oil. I love this and I'll tell you why I have super coarse hairs on my legs and it just softens them so that's why I've been loving it now it was something I had to get used to because when I use shaving cream you know I would shave and I would know the area that I had already shaved and you know with this you can you know it's an oil you know it's just clear 
but you know, I've gotten used to it and I just can't use shaving oil. It just kind of dry or shaving cream. Shaving cream, it would dry out my skin where this does not. It just creates some moisture. Um, I just love it. So I have to have that. And then um, I just want to share um, my favorite self tanning. Um, product here and it's by Hawaiian Tropics and I get mine in dark even though I am pretty light skinned um I this is still like color from a few weeks ago so that's why I love it you know and it's not orange it's super easy to apply it's actually like a foam and it's super super affordable so love this and then this is a newer find uh that I found on Amazon and it's called Cosmo Sun um and it looks like this now what I love about this is um it does have like a, a little bit of a tint and it has like a shimmer um, or a glow but I'm going to show you so here you can see that it does have a tint and then when you rub it in it's going to have like a glow and as you can see it does provide a little bit of color now I love applying this especially on my legs and on my chest in the summer so and it's really nice um, when I go in between um, applications of this so it just adds like I said just enough color and it doesn't really transfer anything like that if you let it dry down all the way so I've been loving this and it's a newer find and I'm already down uh, there so yeah, this is great, and I will repurchase that when that's empty. Okay, let's get into skincare because I've actually really toned down my skincare. I used to use way too many products, but uh, these are the ones that I have repurchased over and over or will repurchase over and over because they're kind of new to me. But this first one, I know I have bought, I don't know how many times, at least probably 20. Um, and it's by ALP and it's their cleansing balm. Now for me to remove my makeup, that's basically all I will use is a cleansing balm and a cleanser. But the two um, balms or makeup removing balms I use you know religiously i rotate either this one or the good molecules this next product i have repurchased i don't know how many times i do have to have this in my skincare routine uh, and it's by timeless it's their coenzyme q10 serum now the reason why i love this is like an antioxidant and it will promote cell turnover it does you know promote some collagen has hyaluronic acid in it and like i said it just i feel like it just makes my skin look different and um if you ever do purchase it and don't be alarmed because it is like a yellow color it's supposed to be that way but I use this every single day uh, in the a.m. I've been using this in the a.m. now now uh, this one is new but I'm on my third bottle it was originally given to me um, you know they had sent it to me the company just to try it out and I really liked it and it's by skin uh, diva and this is called a 20% argiline with um, hyaluronic acid and it also has Matrixel a 3000 in it. So the reason why I chose to replace my Timeless Matrixel 3000 uh, for this one because it just had, you know, three things that I already was using in one bottle. So I actually saved money uh, purchasing this one. I get it right off Amazon. So this one I do use in the evening now. And I, yeah, I need another bottle because it's almost gone. It is right there. So I, I think I would be on my fourth bottle of this. Um, another uh, skincare product that I just cannot live without. Now, this is new, but I'm already on, I think, my third tube. I'm not even over-exaggerating. Um, and it's by e.l.f. and it's their um, Sun Touchable Woe Glow. And this has 30% SPF. I will not be able to live without this. If they stop making this, I am just going to be in tears. This works as my sunscreen. It works as my primer. My makeup, I'm telling you, will last longer when I use this. It has a beautiful glow. Uh, I cannot say enough about this. I, I have to have it. So... <laughs> And I think I have two backups because I go through it, you know, I use it daily. So, um, yeah, love this. Um, this is kind of new to me. I actually was sent my first box in PR or to test out type situation. And um, it is by Dr. Dennis Gross. And it's this here. And they're like these little peel pads, basically. So it's like AHA and BHA. Um, 
uh, I don't know, pads in here, and they're already pre-moistened. And I'm going to grab one over here because I keep them over right there. Um, but it looks like this. So it's two steps. And the first step is like an exfoliant. And the second step will, you know, bring your skin back to life and kind of stop the process of the first um, exfoliant. So, yeah, I don't know. There's a lot to, that goes into it. But what I will say is that my skin looks so much better uh, now that I started using this. Um, I don't use it every day because they are pricey. Now you get, um, I think it's like 30 or 40, yeah, there's 30 pads in here plus uh, five bonus ones, so 35 pads. And if you use it daily, this is like $95 for this box. So I don't use it daily unless I'm going to go, you know, to an event or something, then I will use it like five days straight um, because you will see a huge difference. Um, I have to have this, you know, like I said, I'm using it maybe two, three times a week and I still see a difference. Um, and I can always tell when I need to use it because my pores will start looking really clogged. So it really, you know, opens the pores, but then closes them. They are shrinking. I just feel like my skin looks different to me. Um, you know, when I look at my videos and stuff, I can just really, it just looks brighter. Um, it looks like I have more glow to it. So, I can't say enough about those. Um, another uh, skincare product that I do use all the time, you guys know how much I absolutely love it, and it's my Timeless uh, Vitamin C. Um, now, I don't have a bottle right now because I am testing um, a vitamin C from a company that sent me their product. So uh, I have to use that, you know, just to see if it makes you know any difference, if I see uh, a change. So as of right now, I think I've been using it maybe two or three weeks, and I haven't seen you know, a change for the worse uh, for my skin, not using my timeless one. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. Um, another skincare product that I have to have, there's actually a lot of skincare ones because you guys know how um, I am about that. Um, now, this one really isn't a skincare product, but it's something that you guys know if you've been uh, following me for a very long time, I have to have in my life. I don't know if it really makes a difference in my head it does, so I have to have it. And it's these here, these chin straps. <laughs> But um, I wear them, you know, especially if I'm going to an event, um, I will wear it. Um, and it's all temporary, you know. It's not going to be lasting um, for, uh, you know, days or anything. Well, sometimes I feel like it does last a couple days because then, you know, all of a sudden I'll see that my face starts looking a little bloaty, uh, especially around here. So... In my head, it makes a difference, so I will always just repurchase these. I have to have them. <laughs> so that, now this is new um, in my skincare regimen. Now, I am loving this, and I hope I don't spend too much time talking about it because I love it so much. Um, I saw it, it would, just went viral over on uh, TikTok, and I just had to try it because it just sounded and looked so interesting. And it's this here, it's called Snail Mucin, um, and yeah, it looks like this. I guarantee you, if you're over on Instagram, if you're over on TikTok, you have seen this. Um, and yeah, this is my second bottle here. I've already gone through that much. I use it every single day, and I use it um, morning and actually a night. So yeah, twice a day I'm using this. Let me just tell you about this. Um, snail mucin, when I first heard about it, I'm like, oh my gosh, that is so gross, you know, putting like that slime from snails on my face. Now, <laughs> the story behind this particular brand, I don't know if it's every brand, but this a particular brand, um, they say that um, they actually pamper their snails. They live in luxury environments, uh, non-stress, because I guess uh, snails, if they have any kind of stress, they don't produce uh, the good mucin that um, I guess a non-stress <laughs> snail would um, produce. But I thought that was interesting. So they really take great care of their snails. Uh, they live a luxury life, like they said. Uh, but I will say another thing. Um, I went down, you know, when I saw Amanda and Kurt, and I even, I was looking at Amanda, I'm like, what are you wearing different on your face? And she was saying, oh, it's probably because I live in Arizona and all this. I'm like, no, your skin looks different. It's glowing. It looks just, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It just looked 
I don't, like there was an inner glow just coming out of her skin. And she did, the only thing that was different was that she started using this. So I think that that made a huge difference to her skin. I have been noticing a difference in mine. I don't know, there's just, like I said, like a glow to it. But look at how cool this is. So when you put it on, so it looks like this, but there's like, do you see that? So if you buy a skin mucin or a snail mucin and it doesn't do that, it's probably a fake. It's supposed to look like slimy. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I use it all the time. Um, like I said, morning and night, I've been loving this. Okay, I got to really uh, speed this up. I do not want this video to be hours long. I do this to you guys all the time, but... Oh, well, let's get it. <laughs> let's keep going. Okay, this next one, you guys know how much I uh, love this. If you've been here uh, watching my channel, um, I think I'm on my fifth bottle now, and it's this uh, D'Elva spray, and this is like a Korean brand. I love this. It's a white, it has white truffle in it. It's um, in Italy. Uh, yeah, I don't know the magic that's in this bottle, but as you can see, it looks like this, and then once you shake it, you know, it all kind of combines together. I use this, you know, before I apply my makeup. Sometimes if my makeup's looking kind of, I don't know, dry or just not looking good, I'll spray that over the foundation and just kind of blend it in more and it smooths it down. Um, yeah, it's just a miracle a little um, product here. A lot of times before I apply a lot of my skincare, I'll just apply this for, you know, first just to create some moisture, make the skincare products absorb easier. So, been loving that. Um, another uh, product I really have been enjoying, um, I tried this maybe a couple months ago, a few months back, and I just love it. It's called Vita C. I have mispronounced this so many times, but it's Vita C Balm. So, it looks like this. So, it has vitamin C in it, and it's a balm, and what I use it for is under my eyes, and it really has made a difference. Um, they're not as crepey as they used to be, and you can use this on your lips. You can use this anywhere, but I just use that under my eyes and there's no scent or anything so I don't know you know I feel like it makes a difference so I'm going to continue using that um, another thing that I use under my eyes I was given it given to me it was given to me as a gift and it's by Wander Beauty um, and it's their new um, under eye treatment so it looks like that and you just apply it and, you know, you just rub it in. You're using this little applicator here. Or you could just put it on your ring finger and apply it that way as well. But um, I just feel like this is really helping, you know, with my under eye situation. You know, I've complained, I don't know how many times, how dry they are uh, underneath here. And I just feel like this is really helping. So I use this only at night and I use this in the morning because I feel like this works better with my makeup than this one, but I feel like this one is really giving some moisture at nighttime, so I've been loving that. Okay, let's get into makeup, you guys. <laughs> um, there's a lot to go through here as well, not too much, but again, now my makeup, it, I'm not going to say that they're my favorites because a lot of these aren't like my all-time favorites, nothing like that. Um, the reason why I chose, chose this makeup is, again, Either it's affordable, uh, super easy to use, um, super blendable, um, just a lot of factors. So let's start with just eyeshadow palettes because there's not a lot. Because let me tell you uh, something about, you guys, uh, it's hot in here. <laughs> I'm dying. I mean, my uh, hot flash here. Um, palette. Um, I, don't, I don't know how to say this without you guys going, you know, giving me the side eye. I'm not a huge eyeshadow palette person, believe it or not. My mom and I were actually talking about it and laughing about it the other day. Prior to me um, having my channel, I probably had one palette. I wasn't, I just never wore eyeshadow. Um, it just was never my favorite because I'm not good at it. You know, I feel like I'm not good at it. I feel, you know, because I have hooded eyes, it's always a struggle for me. So that's why, you know, palettes just have never been my favorite. Believe it or not, it's always been foundations and, you know, more uh, complexion products. Anyway, that being said, that's why I have these in my account, what I'm going to be showing you. And it's not, there's only one high end. 
Okay, and the reason why I chose these ones here, um, again, they're super affordable. Um, I love the formula, you know, it's basically all I would need. Um, so the first one is these two here. Uh, one is by Hard Candy and one is by Elf. They are almost very similar, uh, almost identical. Um, there's just little differences, um, especially in this shade here. But anyway, they're different enough that um, I do like to have both. So, and they're great for traveling. And then the other two shades, uh, the same thing, same scenario, um, the Hard Candy and the Elf. And yeah, it's the more neutral palette. I reach for these all the time, especially for work, because again, they're super quick, super easy, really no thoughts behind it. You just put it on and <laughs> you're good to go. Um, another one I found, I really enjoyed it, and it's by Essence. It is called Don't Worry B. Uh, so it looks like this, and it's just a little small palette. And again, why I love these little palettes is they're just very, you don't have to think about it, just very easy to use, great for travel, and yeah, good formula. Now the one here, um, I probably, like if something was to happen to it, I would replace it because I really uh, love it that much. And it's actually what I have on my eyes today. And it's by ColourPop, that's taupe. I just feel like this is like an iconic, um, you know, classic palette. I think, you know, most people have this in their, <clears throat> excuse me, in their collection. But look how beautiful it is. I love like this shade here, this taupe shade. The shimmers are really pretty. Uh, this shimmer here is just a little bit more loose. It's just kind of more glittery. But these ones are super, super pigmented. That's what I have on my eye right now. So yeah, this is one I definitely would replace if something was to go. Actually, all the ones I've showed you so far, if something was to you know happen to them, I would definitely replace it. Um, and then... Um, for the um, high-end palette, the one that I probably would replace if something was to happen to it, and it's by Natasha Denona, and it's the Glam palette. So it looks like this. You guys probably all have seen it. But again, it's classic. It's iconic. You could just make a very nice... Um, I look with it. I'm more a cool tone palette gal or neutral. Um, yeah, I, <laughs> it's all of them, I guess. But um, I do love cool tone uh, palettes. So, but there is a dupe for it. So, um, you know, that was really hard for me to go, hmm, would I really repurchase it if I do have this one and it's more affordable? And I would say absolutely. I would re um, repurchase this, even though this one was pretty close of a dupe. But there was enough differences in it that I feel like uh, the shimmers in here were just so, I don't know, there's, you can't beat, you know, Natasha Denona shimmer. So, yeah, I definitely would replace that one. And that's it for the eyeshadows, you guys, um, believe it or not. <laughs> but you, I've already told you my reasoning behind that. Okay, so let's go into primers because there's not many of that. Um, so the primers, uh, it will not become, one of these will not be a surprise to you. Um, so I'll just start with that one here. And it's the May, um, Maybelline Master Blur Stick. Now this I've been using for so long. Um, when I first tried it, I was like, oh, this is, this is it. And, um, it looks like this. Now the only problem with this one, it's becoming very hard to find. Um, so it looks like this. And they also have ones, uh, that is, uh, has a shade to it too, but, the translucent, translucent is nice because you don't have to really do a shade match. Anyway, what this does is really uh, fill in the pores. It you know does conceal fine lines and wrinkles. Uh, it works pretty good under makeup if you blend it in really well. Um, so there is like a little flaws to it, but there's more pros than cons with this product. And yeah, I really love this and yeah, would be devastated if they stopped making it, which is possible you guys okay hopefully the lighting didn't change too much my battery died in the light over there and i had to change it up so hopefully it's at the same setting anyway okay so what i was talking about was primers now the other pore primer that i have just found um recently i actually really love this one um it doesn't do Oh gosh, let me just tell you what it is first. It's the AOA one and it's the pore filler. When I first uh, tried this, I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know about this because it felt like it was oily, but you know, it just goes on almost like a silicone feeling maybe. 
but when I blend it in, it does dry down. And my makeup looks really good over this. It really does help keep my makeup on. Um, and it does conceal my pores. Now, the only difference between this one and this one is this one doesn't, you know, conceal my wrinkles and fine lines like this one does. But, um, you know, if this one goes away, this is a great alternative. So I would repurchase this one because it's $1.88. So <laughs> that's a really good price. And I think this one's like up to 12 bucks now. So... I don't know. This one I've been using a lot um, lately because it's super easy to use. I will say that it blends in really fast where this one I got to really, you know, work it into my skin a little bit longer. So, hey, if I can save um, 20 seconds, <laughs> I'll use this one. And then the other uh, primer I love. Um, now, like I said, I've been using that um, e.l.f. one. My uh, SPF is my primer. But if I wanted to, or had to use a primer where I needed like a gripping primer, um, I would actually reach for this one here by Hard Candy. Now, a lot of people like the e.l.f. one, and I'm sure that one is great. But for me, my skin, because it's so dry, this one is just more hydrating. Um, and it does look like the e.l.f. one. It has, oh, it's like that green a tint to it, and it does have like that grip. So once you rub it in, it starts feeling uh, sticky and tacky. So that's why I love uh, the one by Hard Candy. So I actually would replace this one and not the e.l.f. one, to, uh, to tell you the truth. Like I said, just for my skin, um, I like it better. And then the other primer um, I would definitely repurchase would be this one here, and it's by L'Oreal, and it's their uh, True Match Lumi uh, Glotion. <laughs> so it looks like this, but what I love about this is it's very similar um, scenario to this because there is like a glow to it. So when you apply it, and rub it in there's yeah there's just like a glow um i don't think that there's like any kind of glitter in it or anything so yeah it just provides a glow and looks so nice under so many of my foundations so um i definitely would replace that it becomes empty so let's go into bronzers because there's not many bronzers um and again they're not you know necessarily my favorite um i just reach for them often um either they're just right here in this drawer or you know they're just super easy to use so the first one or and the right shade you know i do not like orange so that is super important and these ones are not orange uh so the first one is by elf and it's their uh luminous uh putty bronzers and i love this one here um i've been using this a lot lately um i think it's because i'm not self tanning so it's like almost like the perfect shade for me right now now the only thing i feel with these is they don't last as long as some of my other uh, bronzers but um yeah they're just easy to use and i do like the glow in it so there's yeah there's always pros and cons to a lot of these products but uh, this is one that i definitely would replace it, it's super affordable now, the other one I definitely would replace just because it's that good. Um, it's by Rare Beauty. I love the shade. Um, it is a little bit more orange than this one here, the e.l.f. one. Um, but as you can see, yeah, there's just a different um, undertone here. So, but uh, once you blend it out, it doesn't look, you know, super orange but it's super long wearing. I like, you know, how easy it is. You know, you can either apply it by just, you know, put it in a, putting it on directly on the skin or using a brush. So just very easy to use and it blends in super fast. And the other bronzer I would definitely replace, like if I was to drop it or anything like that, because I don't think I'll ever use um, this whole thing, um, is this one by LA Girl. It's their matte bronzer. And normally I'm not a huge matte gal, but this was super nice. Um, it's just like the perfect tone. It's a cool tone bronzer. I definitely would repurchase that one. And I would be sad if they stopped making it. Okay, let's talk about concealers. Uh, there's only a couple here that I definitely would repurchase. Um, and because a lot of the reason is because they're affordable. And the one is this Joa. Actually, I have repurchased this. I think this is my third one. Um, and this is their eye serum. And it's called Perfect Complexion. And yeah, I just love it. It's super creamy. Um, it's not super full coverage, but... 
I don't know, it just looks really nice under my eyes. Like when I wear it, you know, and I see a picture, I don't see like tons of crepiness. It doesn't crease real easy, but I do have to set it. But I do love it and I have repurchased it. Um, like I said, I think the third, this is my third one. Now this one's new to me. I'm really enjoying it. Now the only con is it's kind of pricey, but I feel like it's going to last a long time. And it's by Glossier and it's this here, their stretch concealer. This is really, really nice. Again, it's super creamy um, for my, you know, dry, hydrate, dehydrated under eyes. This is like magic. So I've been really liking this. So I definitely think I would replace this one only because, um, you know, you get a lot of product and you don't need a lot. So love that. Now there is something here. It's not necessarily a concealer, but it is a, a color corrector. And I never used to use color correctors under my eyes, but I saw this over on Instagram. And of course, I had to go, you know, check it out. And it's not super expensive. Now the only thing is you have to purchase it from their website. It's not at the store. So that's always a con too, I know, but it's by Lottie London. And it looks like this. Look how much I've already used. And I haven't had it that long. Um, and the reason is I actually like it more for the hydration under my eyes. It is so creamy. And it's right there. Um, yeah, it's just very creamy. And it does really conceal the darkness or um, purple under my eyes. Um, if you guys have been watching my channel and seen me use this, you've seen that I say, or I say a lot of times, I really don't even need to use concealer when I use this, but I do, you know, end up using a concealer because there is almost like a peach shade to it. So, but that is it for the concealers. Um, eye primers, uh, this got not going to be any surprise to anybody, but uh, there is a new newer one in here that I, I do want to talk about. Uh, but the first one here, this eye primer, I have repurchased this, I don't know how many times. Well, actually not that many. I think maybe two or three times because it lasts forever. A little goes a long way. Um, it's very similar to the P. Louise Only Butter. Uh, the P. Louise to me is very drying. Um, I have super dry eyelids where, you know, I do need something with some hydration. And this one, it does have like a shade to it, but as I mean, you've seen how little I had, and look how far that goes. I mean, this lasts a very long time. Uh, that's why I like it. Um, I like it for the coverage. I like it for the price. Um, I like it for the hydration. Super nice. Now, this one I just got, and um, it actually, I actually got it from my friend Clara. She was doing a giveaway. But I love it, and I don't know even know how much it costs. I think I looked into it; it's a heck of a lot more uh, than this one. But it's by Gerard Cosmetics, and it's a pot primer. And again, very little. I mean, this much will probably do both eyes, as you will see. How much? I mean, it just spreads. You do not need a lot, but it does, you know, give you some kind of coverage. So if you have any, fun, you know, uh, discoloration on your eyelids, it really does conceal that. And it really does provide some moisture to my eyelids. So those are really good eye primers. Okay, you guys, I'm trying to hurry um, here. <laughs> uh, foundations, let's get into the foundations. I definitely would repurchase. Um, and one of these is because it is my favorite. Um, but the other ones, it's because they're super affordable. I like how they look on my mature skin. Um, they're long lasting and yeah, they are just really good foundations. I'm going to start with this one here. It's by Wet n Wild. It's their tinted hydrator. Um, my mom even uses this and I don't know how many times I'll look at her. I'm like, oh, what are you wearing? Your skin looks so nice. And she's wearing uh, this here. So it's just a very nice, it's lightweight. It's great for days that you don't want a lot of coverage. Um, but it does, you know, you can build up on it and it is long lasting. So I really love this. And I also love it for if I want to mix it with another uh, foundation, like maybe one that's too dry, I can add this to it and it just, you know, adds a little bit more hydration to the foundation. So yeah, it's a very versatile uh, little product here. I love this. Um, and this one here, I, gosh, I 
used this probably daily for, I don't know, weeks. And it's by CoverGirl, and it's the CoverGirl Olay, uh, Simply Ageless. Um, my mother, actually, another one my mom loves, um, she had been using it for years. And, you know, I'd always look at her like, oh, boy, you know. <laughs> She's using the old lady foundation. Well, one day I go, I want to try it. You know, I just want to give it a try. I absolutely loved it so much so that I know I have another um, backup bottle up there because it is really nice. You know, it does add, you know, has skincare benefits in it. Um, it has decent coverage. It's pretty long lasting. Um, not as, you know, long lasting as some of my other ones, but it does last pretty good on my skin. Um, yeah, can't say enough about that one. Um, this one here, I, you know, I've been really enjoying it. Actually, that's what I have on my skin uh, today. And it's this here, the L'Oreal True, True Match. This is a nice little uh, foundation. And I, I don't know, I tried it again the other day and I was like, oh my gosh, it lasts really well on my skin and you know it is a little lighter for my skin but I have a product here I'll be showing you what I do when that happens but yeah I just really have been enjoying it I think it looks really nice it has a nice glow um it's not settling in any of my fine lines and wrinkles it doesn't look like it's even fading at this point and I've been uh, kind of having some hot flashes here as you can see my hair is starting <laughs> Get flattered by this second. Okay, the last foundation I want to talk about. Now, this is a favorite of mine. I'm not going to lie. It's probably being my, I think I'll be doing a top three favorites in each category uh, towards the end of the year. Or so this will definitely be in it because it is um, one of my most reached for and favorite at this moment. Um, and it's by Maybelline and it's the Super Stay. Whoa, is this good. I thought I would never love anything more than the uh, L'Oreal uh, one, the, the serum. And actually, that's not even up here. So there you go. You know, it's just, I find like I reach for these products, you know, more. And ever since I got this one, I just don't even reach for the L'Oreal one. I reach for this one. I just, I can't say enough about it. It just, you want something that's going to last you all day. This is your guy. <laughs> I love the glow that it gives, you know, the coverage that it has. I can't say enough about this one. Love it. So what I was mentioning, if I do have to darken up um, a foundation, um, I definitely would repurchase this over and over because this way, when I have this in my collection, if a foundation is too light, I don't have to worry about it. I can add this product to it. And I can use a foundation in the winter and the summer because of this. And it's by Indeed, and it's their Nano Bronze um, bron Nano Bronzing uh, Drop. So um, I find mine on Amazon. It's not super cheap, but you don't need a lot. Like you would just need probably I don't know maybe that much to add into your uh, foundation, and you will see that it does add some, you know, color to that. And it's not super orange or anything. I haven't found, like, it alters any of my foundations. So I have to have this um, for that reason. And another product I have to have only um, to alter my foundations is this here, uh, LA Girl, or any kind of blue pigment. But I do love the LA Girl because they give you a lot of product. I know e.l.f. has one, but it's like in a concealer type tube. I'd be through that, and you can see how much I've already used of this. And because I will use this if my foundation is too yellow or if it's too deep. So, yeah, I have to have this in my collection. Um, another one, it's kind of new, um, and it's by AOA, and it's their white pigment. Now, um, LA Girl has um, a white pigment as well, so, I mean, either one, but this one's like only a dollar, so, you know, hmm, and I know that they have blue in this too, so I might end up going to this, but that's a lot of product, so, you know, either one, but I have to have some kind of blue or white uh, pigment in my collection, you know, for my foundations. Okay, we're coming down to the last of it, I think. Um, let's go to lipsticks because there's only a few that I would definitely replace um, if, you know, uh, I was to go through it all or if something got ruined. And the first one is by L'Oreal. Um, it's just my 
ultimate favorite shade. I hardly bring it on the channel anymore, but I do use it a lot, you know, off uh, camera. And it's the L'Oreal 800. I love my nude lipsticks. And this is like the perfect nude. I absolutely love it. Oh, so mommy, <laughs> I don't know, you guys. I'm a hot mess here. Um, but anyway, it's like the perfect nude, especially if I pair it with a, like a really uh, a darker uh, lip liner. Oh, I just love it. But that is the nude there. Oh, been loving this for so long. And yeah, I definitely, I think I have three back, backups because L'Oreal is one of those that will, or all of them actually, they'll just stop making that shade, you know, and you are just devastated. So I have backup as if, if that happens. Um, another one is, it's more the formula, doesn't necessarily be the shade. I just grabbed one, but it's the um, Milani Fetish Lipsticks. These are so nice, uh, very comfortable, very long wearing. And yeah, I mean, look at that shade. Ooh, that's super pretty. What one is this? Okay, so that one's a secret. Yeah, that is such a beautiful shade. Another lipstick, you know, I absolutely love. I love the formula. Now this one, you know, some people love it. Some people hate it. I actually like it. Now, yes, it's a little drier than most of my lipsticks, but I find sometimes that a little drier of a formula will last longer. And that's why I love it. And I love the shades that I have um, in the in it and it's by elf and it's their old face collection and this one is actually in the shade i don't know i can't see it i'll put it in the description box but um yeah these are just really uh, nice i love the formula uh, but whatever it is, that's a nice shade, you know, my neutrals. So, yeah, I love these. I would definitely replace uh, that. Super affordable. Actually, all these lipsticks are super affordable. Um, and another a little lip gloss. I love having it, having it in my purse. I actually have one of them in there now. Um, and it's by Hard Candy. And they look like this, but they are super hydrating. It's almost like an oil. I love the doe foot on these. Um, super easy and fast to apply. So if my lips are super um, dry, I have to have this. I'll just throw it on even without lipstick, you know, at work. So I have to have one of these in my purse. Definitely would replace it. Super affordable. And I think... Think, oh no, one other lipstick, and this is new. I actually just got it recently through uh, Clara as well, through the giveaway. Whew, I love these. I definitely will have these. I would repurchase this um, over and over because it's just so convenient. Um, and it's by Dell 10. And one side has the lipstick, and then the other side has the, um, like a lip gloss, but it's, you know, has pretty good pigment, to, you know, it's, really a pigmented for a lip gloss i mean yeah this is crazy so yeah i love these i actually have one of these in my purse as well so yeah these are really really nice um lip products so i've been loving that and another thing i do want to talk about is uh, by miss aoa um it's this here's the waterproof uh i don't even know what this eye makeup a seal so I use this, I mix it in with um, a little bit of my eyeshadow and use, you know, use it to uh, make a liner. And one of my friends here was Lyndon told me that actually what she does is she puts just a little bit like on her ring finger. I mean, she goes just a little bit and just kind of rubs it together and just applies probably about that much. And she said just to tap it over your eyeshadow and it will really seal it in and it will become like waterproof so it will last all day so i had tried that the other day and i did see um that it worked now the one side i think i had way too much because um it almost like i don't know how to explain it like started lifting my eyeshadow so you have to use just very 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 little so just yeah just a little a tip and thank you so much for that tip Okay, and then uh, let's talk about blushes really fast because there's only a two that I reach for, um, you know, or have to have uh, in my collection because uh, they're just super easy to use and a, one of them super affordable and I just love the shade because it is super uh, neutral. So, uh, and that one is by Essence and it's called The Blush and this is in the shade Befitting. Um, you guys have probably seen me use this so many times on my channel. 
but because it goes with so many different um, eye looks. So like I said, just very neutral, uh, very versatile color. So I love that shade and the formula. It's very long lasting too. And the this won't come as a shock. It's by Laura Geller. Um, I love these blushes. These are so beautiful. Um, they're just very nice on mature skin. They do give like a little bit of a glow. Um, I mean, you can overdo it, so you got to be working like increments. But look how beautiful that blush is. I just, I, I can't say enough about her blushes. Uh, but I have said it before, they are very similar to the Milani. So the Milani would be a very good affordable dupe, dupe. But she has such great sales sometimes. You can get this for 12 bucks. So that's the same price as the Milani, if you ask me. Another thing I would definitely re um, replace, I forgot to mention, um, and I will because I broke one already and I'm just devastated, uh, and it's by Laura Geller. Um, these are absolutely fabulous, um, especially for mature skin. I can't say enough about them. When I use this with my foundations, um, I will use it every day with a foundation. I don't care if it's full coverage. I don't care if it's light coverage. I use it every day as like a setting a powder because you just need very little. Now you can use it on your own on its own and use it as a foundation and really build up on it, but I don't like using it that way. I like it more as a setting powder. So this one is the medium and this one's like a more matte finish. And this one I broke it Bell. Oh, I was just so devastated, but I have enough and I still have been using it, but this has a glow and I like mixing the two and applying it over my face. And uh, yeah, like I said, using it as a setting powder. I love the glow that it gives. I love that my skin looks healthy when I use it. Um, and I love that my makeup will last probably gives any makeup of mine, even if, you know, a foundation that only lasts maybe four hours, I'll get six hours if I use this. Just so, and just a little <laughs> tip there. And then this is uh, for powders. I do have uh, two other powders that I would repurchase for sure. Um, and it's by Wet n Wild, the Photo Focus. This is amazing. I mean, for the cost it, it, and the, how much product you get, it's super finely milled. I mean, it is such a nice powder. I'm just going to grab a little bit because I am having such a heat flash, heat flash, hot flash. <laughs> I am actually going to apply a little bit right here in my T-zone because I'm becoming quite shiny up through there. And look how it just kind of tone that down. I can apply this under my eyes and it doesn't look all dry and crepey. This is amazing. I mean, I think it's like, I don't know, five bucks. It is awesome. I'm going to hurry up and just go sit under a fan right now because I am breaking out in a hot flash. Okay, I would love to know when that ends because honestly, I have not had my cycle. It'll be two years in July, so it, it makes no sense to me. Why is it still happening? Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> the other product, um, powder product that I want to talk about, it's new to me. Um, and at first I was like, mm, I don't know. I'm not seeing a huge difference. Well, yeah, there is a huge difference and it's super nice. It's a brightening powder and it's by Moira. And it's, I guess, you know, like a dupe to the <laughs> Givenchy powder. Uh, <laughs> if you guys have seen my other videos, you know why I'm laughing. Anyway, um, it looks like this. So there is like a blue, a pink, and a banana uh, shade in there. But when you mix it, it comes out like a lavender. And what's nice about this, it's brightening. And I like just applying this basically through uh, the T-zone and like right here in the corners of my eyes just to really uh, brighten that area up. So, whoa, I almost... <laughs> Drop that whole container. Um, but yeah, it is a super, super nice, finely milled powder. Okay, we are almost done. Um, I just want to really make sure that I've talked about everything that um, I have brought out. The last thing, no, there's two more things. Three more things. Okay, so what I would definitely repurchase here um, is this 
little thing that I get on Amazon and it came like as a little kit. Uh, the other one is more like a balm, but this one is so nice, especially if you want to plump up your lips, uh, just add a little bit more plumpness. It's not super stingy. Um, I love the little container that it's in. And I have repurchased this twice, I believe. And I use it every day, so you don't need a lot. And I like applying that, you know, when I'm doing my skincare. Um, and just let it sit on my lips for a little bit and it just plumps them up a little bit. So I have to always have that in my life. Um, and a perfume. Um, I am not a huge perfume person, but I was sent this by, um, actually, she's a co-founder of Wander Beauty. And she has autoimmune disease, um, just like I do. Uh, Crohn's is autoimmune. I don't know what hers is. Uh, she could just have an autoimmune uh, disease. But the reason why I'm telling you that is she created this perfume because um, she was obsessed with perfumes for, she had a, a huge collection, I guess. She went, she got perfumes from all over the world. Well, one day it just started really uh, irritating her skin. Um, and that is the same as me. That's why I don't use perfumes. I can use body spray, but perfumes almost felt like it was burning my skin. Um, I, I, I can't even explain it. It was almost like, yeah, putting some kind of chemical. Uh, and she was experiencing the same thing. So anyway, um, she came up with this new, uh, for her formula, and it doesn't do that. So she sent me um, a bottle. And oh my gosh, you guys, but the scent, it is just heavenly for me. Um, and I definitely, I don't care how much I, I never even looked into how much it costs. I don't care. I would buy it because I love it so much i just use it on special occasions um because of that reason i don't know how much it is but oh the scent it's nothing you know flowers or nothing like that it's woodsy um it's almost uh more masculine i would say than feminine i but it has a it is feminine you know i don't know it just woodsy you know it does uh it says it's madagascar um vanilla um, it's called burn for you. So yeah, it just, oh, I don't know what scents are in here, but the notes are, oh, it is just so, oh, it smells so good. I honestly could just sit here and smell it all day. Just very cozy. It's a very cozy scent. <laughs> Okay, and I think that, no, one last product, I mean, come on, I, I said, come on, Laura. <laughs> now, this is relatively new, but I am on, I would say, my third, possibly, I don't know how many bottles, but I cannot stop using it. Um, honestly, I hardly use any of my other setting sprays, and it's this one here by uh, Fab Luke's O. My gosh, this one used to be my holy grail, um, and I have purchased probably, I don't know, 10 bottles of this, and I still, you know, will use it, but this one is, I don't know what they have in here, but it's like a little miracle. I have my backup because I love it so much. The only thing I can explain about this, well, first of all, your makeup's going to last, you know, twice as long when I use this. Um... But when I apply it, there's a smoothing effect. You know, like my pores become smaller. Um, I can literally put it on a sponge, and I'll do it right now. You <laughs> I can put it on a sponge, and it's pretty wet. You know, I will just kind of, but I can go right over my makeup, and it's not going to lift it. It's just going to set it. It's going to make it look healthy. Um, oh. I just absolutely love it. I apply it under my eyes, so it's great, you know, if you need a touch-up. It's almost like the MAC uh, Fix Plus or something, because that's actually what that product is meant for, is just to kind of uh, touch up your makeup, from my understanding. Anyway, <laughs> I cannot say enough. I would definitely repurchase this over and over. Love the setting spray. You guys know how I love my setting sprays anyway. All right, I think that is it. But those are products that I definitely, definitely would repurchase without even blinking an eye over and over again. All right. Um, if I missed anything, I will put it down in the description box. Um, I would love to hear some of your guys' not necessarily favorites, but products that you cannot live without. You would repurchase it over and over 
even if they raise the price. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, if you please hit that like button, I would truly appreciate it. It really does help me out. I can't wait to see you guys again. I love you so much and until next time.